Hey everyone, this is Hal Gaywood, creator of the Testimonial Rotator plugin. I'm going to show you how to create a custom um, front end submission form that will allow your users to submit testimonials to your Testimonial Rotator. And this will be using the Gravity Forms plugin. Gravity Forms is a paid plugin. Um, I'll have a link for it in the description below. And it's a wonderful form generator. You can do this with uh, other, uh, other plugins out there. Uh, just look for front end submission or look for that. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to do uh, Gravity Forms. And so my plugin creates a custom post type of testimonial. So if you're using another uh, method, you'll just want to create a custom post type of testimonial. Um, first, let's go make sure we have Gravity Forms installed. And also, we're going to need an extra plugin, a uh, free one in the WordPress.org store called Gravity Forms Plus custom post type if you just do CPT it should show up um, if not first it'll be second here last time I did it, it was first so that's interesting gravity forms plus custom post types let's go ahead and install that and get that going and then it's going to ask us to activate it so we're good to go there so let's go to forms over here in the main menu and click new form let's call it uh, submissions well, let's be a little more descriptive. Testimonial submissions. Great. And so over on the right, um, I'm going to assume you have some knowledge of Gravity Forms here, or some basic knowledge at least. Over here you have your different fields, and you're going to want to drag in a title. So this will create your post title. For this, we want like a um, short description of your review. And you can put whatever one here. I'm just going to show you how um, I would probably do it if I were to use this plugin. And so down here it says which post type. This is the field that was added from that custom post types, the Gravity Forms Plus custom post types. If you didn't have that um, extra plugin installed, you would not see this option, which allows you to choose from your post types and select testimonials. That's um, key here. And so also you're going to want to probably put it to pending review. And this will allow it not to be visible until you actually go in there and approve it. If you don't care about that and you want it to be published right away, select this to published. Choose a default post author here or allow the logged in user um, to be the post author. This isn't super important. Um, I would probably just leave it like this. However, it shows or put your default post author to your admin or whoever is your main post author. This doesn't get used by my plugin on the front end of the website so you will not see this. Um, let's go ahead and make that required because uh, your post title is required most likely most of the time unless you want a blank one. So there we go. So that's, um, that's the short description, the title. And so the testimonial itself is uh, just the body content. So I just add the body post field. If we go in here and we'll go your, can't see because that thing popped out, your review, put that like that. And we don't need to, I mean, if you want to make that um, required, you can do that as well. And I don't think we need to hit any other settings. Um, you can, I saw there on the appearance, you can choose the size you want. You may not want such a big one as well. So there's your review. And now we're going to need to map um, some things that are specific to uh, my my plugin. So let me just go in here real quick to the to this one that I have. And as you can see, we have um, the title. This this uh, the title of the testimonial I had mapped to this. The short description. I mean, if you want, you can even go into an appearance. Maybe that won't make sense to people, and you'd be like, "Excellent service." You're probably gonna want to spell that right. Or Wow, I'm off today. Probably because the microphone's right in front of my thing here, you know? Or thanks. You know, something like that, maybe just to give them a little bit extra idea about what my short description of my review is. Or you can leave that blank, and when it comes in on your end and you come in here um, to approve or deny it, you could go, oh, what's the best part here? Oh, I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to put that as my title. That's another way maybe you want to do this to, to leave off leave off that title field. And if we, go, if we scroll down the page, you see we have some testimonial options. The first one is to attach it to a rotator. You can leave this blank 
um, if you want and then whenever you come in here to review you can then assign it to different rotators if you don't have any rotators and you just do the widget without rotators then that's fine as well um, but I'll show you quickly how you can get that set up um, the first thing you're going to do is put a custom post type post field in here and we're going to call that uh, rotator ID and down below you have a field type so here you have a few options of what kind of field you want to create let's go ahead and create a hidden field and let's set the name that it's going to be underscore you're going to, you're going to need the underscore rotator ID and then you can go over to um, advanced and you're going to have to have put in a default value let's um, go back to another window go to our rotators yeah we can leave that for now and if you click on edit or over there you can see up here it says post equals 14775 you can also see that over back here on the list view 14775 grab that if this is the one you want it to go into by default then you could put that here and you would now have um, you would now have all of your um, testimonials going into that rotator by default so that's the uh, rotator ID ID. Let's go back to uh, here and see what else we need to add. So then we have a star rating. So we're going to have to kind of recreate this if you want it. And let's go in back to create, uh, the, we're back in our edit in Gravity Forms, create a custom field. And you can rearrange the order. I mean, you may want to put the rating at first just to get them kind of hooked. And so uh, let's do rating as the name. This is just what they'll see above it. And for this one, I'm going to need to do the field name as underscore. So you have to do the underscore rating. And do a radio button. If you want to do a radio button, I would start with five, four, three. Create some options for them. There you go. And if you check this little box right here, you'll make five the default, which is good. You know, you want to make it the default. And here's a little tri trick as well. If you do GF. Uh, I can't even remember what it is off the top of my head. List, I believe. List inline. This is a CSS class that's going to make them go um, horizontally across rather than vertical like this. You only see that when uh, we get to the front end of the site and we hit uh, we hit it there. So let's just do that. Hit update just for good measure. So we've got it updated. What else did we need? We had the star rating and oh, we need a the author information box here. Let's go ahead and do that. I will do a post field of custom post type. Let's do your review. Stick it right there. And let's call it about you. Let's make it a paragraph text. Sounds good, right? And we need to do the field name of underscore site. That's the name I've given it. You can make it required if you wanted. A good idea may be to put a placeholder like uh, your name, your company, something like that. And let's go ahead and make it smaller too because it doesn't really need to be that big. You don't want that much. Um, you can do a rich text editor over in the advanced if you want to give them options to, to do that. You can also do that up here in the review. If you go over to advanced, you can give them the ability to have um, bold and links and stuff like that. I'm going to turn those off for now. So I think we're getting pretty close here. Let's go back to our testimonial. We've got that and we're going to want a testimonial image. This is fairly easy too. Let me jump back over. Um, they have a post image in the post fields over here. Drag that to, I don't know, maybe at the end I guess. I probably wouldn't make this required but if you want to, your image and I would hit set as featured image for good measure and actually you probably need to do that by default and I don't see any other options you're gonna you're gonna want to need let's hit update so I think we've got the whole thing we've got the title the text testimonial where we want to attach it to star rating the site and a testimonial uh, image so here I have a uh, submit your review page I've created I just put a little text there you can have whatever you want to let people know what they're supposed to do and I'm clicking add form. Sorry, I'm moving a little quick here. Click add form and I want to get the testimonial submissions 
um, form. I don't need any other options um, with that. I just want, hey, I did select the form. Okay, there it goes. Gravity form ID is five, blah, blah, blah. It creates a short code. Let's hit update on that and just go view it in the front. You should see um, a nice little fee form that you created in the back end. And so there's the rating. I'm going to just switch this to three so we can make sure it works. A uh, short description of your review. Awesome stuff. And this is the best product ever. Blah, 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 blah. I'm Hal Gatewood, plugin developer. And I do have an image. Let's just check that out on the home page. There's me. And we hit submit. OK, so there you go. It's submitted. And let's go into the back end and go back to our all testimonials. Click here. And so now you see that you have awesome stuff is pending. It did get a rating of three and it is attached to the three pigs vertical rotator that I have set up. I'm gonna go ahead and click edit. And as you can see, it's got the best test product ever. The rating, my author name, the rotator, everything is golden. I even have my picture over on the side. And if I like it, I'm going to hit publish. And that will publish my new testimonial to the front end. This is the best product ever. Awesome stuff. Three stars. What was I thinking? So that's how to create a testimonial from a custom uh, submission form on the front using Gravity Forms. Thanks for watching. I'm hoping to have more of these out very soon. So please subscribe and keep, uh, keep a lookout for more ways to do um, better stuff with my testimonial rotator form. Thanks.